Vlog seven, here we go. We're back out here in the garage. We're wrenching on the snowmobile. We got it back from trackside today. They uh, did the warranty stuff that needed to be done. It's ready to go. It's about time, it's the new year. Happy new year, Merry Christmas to the seven of you who are probably watching this. Um, anyways, we got this plastic off, we got a new one. Um, it was a little deformed. Looks like previous owner landed on something here on the side panel, bent that in, busted that bolt head. So we got a new piece here. We got the new plastic piece because I was a little screwed up because this got pulled in. So we're gonna put all that on. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna put the finishing touches up on her and almost ready to go. Sick! Got this piece in, installed. This was uh, stripped out in here. Uh, so I tried extracting it and re-threading it. Uh, didn't work getting the bolt out, so we ended up drilling the whole bolt out and putting in a helicoil. Not so sure that it held the best, so we put a nut on the backside. That should hold, give us some rigidity here. That wasn't there because uh, previous owner thought he could just run without a bolt and it'd be fine. Kidding, well, not kidding. Sorry, not sorry. Um, then, instead of rivets here, because I use like, uh, not aircraft quality, but they're bigger rivets, right? We don't have them, so we just went with the uh, Grade 10.9 M6 bolt, 16 millimeters long. Uh, with some Loctite, and then we got some rivets to install here, and then we'll be good to go there. And then we'll put this plastic piece in here, and put the pipe, or the muffler back in. And then, we might be ready to go here. Another step closer. Got that installed. Not too shabby, looks nice. So it's all back together, well, this much anyways. And uh, I just remembered I still have to make my vent covers here. Otherwise that'll pack full of snow and ice and stuff and rattle around and we don't need that extra weight and moisture and snow in there and whatnot. So you can buy the vent kit from Skidoo, but it's like 100 bucks or something like that. And I said, no, nah, I can build some for cheaper. So I've got some expanded metal or uh, perforated aluminum that I ordered, 3 16 holes in it. And so I'm just building a template for this lower section. And I'll build a small little template for the upper section. Uh, clamps are just there because they're there. Um, that's kind of a rough template so far. But then, that's all I use. So, um, yeah, then we're gonna probably build them for the side vents on the hood assembly as well. Back in action today, we've got some wrapping going on. Time to wrap this thing up. <laughs> no pun intended. All right, so side panels are on, hood's on. We got the graphics on the front nose cone, the lower panel, got a little preview of the whole thing. I'm pretty pretty happy with how things are looking. So kind of this uh, hung up from the garage door rail thing. Just nice uh, hanger. Um, so yeah. Pieces are going on pretty well. I don't really have any issues or any complaints by any means. So we're putting them all on and then I'll go over it with a heat gun, make sure everything's stuck down real well. Um, we got this at least smoothed out, so that's good enough for a wrap to go on it. And uh, yeah, I think I'll do a little time lapse now that I've got half the wrap installed, but we can get the rest of the wrap in a time lapse before you get for uh, the video here. And yeah, that's that. Let's wrap a sled. So, we got it all wrapped up, looking pretty good, I would have to say. Got the uh, bumper back on, got tail light back on, uh, we got to put our link brackets on. Yeah, wrap turned out uh, pretty good, I must say. Went on pretty well, didn't really have any hiccups or anything. Um, got to put our side panel latches on to these panels and uh, this set onto the hood for right there, but otherwise, got a little conflicting brand going on, but you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. We just have to put our uh, rubber bumpers on the rails here and here, up there, um, and then we might go uh, take her for a little spin this afternoon around the yard. Just took the old girl out, maiden voyage. Whew. Boy, is that 850 fun, no complaints. 
All is good. Had a check engine light at first. Me being the dummy that I am, I forgot to plug in one of the pipe sensors. Plugged it in. Look at that. That check engine light goes away. So, woo, woo. I guess that's uh, that's that. I don't have any more project build videos. So, thanks for coming along on this journey. It's been fun. I uh, I enjoyed the process of making these videos and whatnot. And thanks for following along if you did so. So, uh, hopefully we get some riding videos together and put something cool together to watch. Anyways, enough rambling from me. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a splendid winter. Bye now.